Hello everyone. We have all seen those variable pots or variable resistors whose resistance varies linearly with the movement of wiper. Linear pots are used for wide variety of applications from fan speed control to joysticks and are also part of many other control panels. But not all applications use linearly varying pots. Special applications like audio volume control requires the resistance to be varied in logarithmic fashion with the position of the wiper because human ear doesn't perceive loudness linearly. While creating linear pots is as simple as taking uniform resistive element and moving the wiper across and this can be obviously understood with the formula R equals to rho L by A that is resistance is directly proportional to its length. But what about log pots where the resistance varies in logarithmic fashion with the movement of the wiper. Here is a non-linear variable resistor that I have built with a pencil and a paper. Graphite is a non-metal and a conductor. On addition of right impurities, we can create good quality resistors. Pencil leads contain graphite and clay, which makes them conductive with some resistance across it. I have used aluminium as metal terminals and stainless steel scissors as a viper. Resistivity of stainless steel and aluminium is thousand times less than that of the graphite. I also assume my drawing to be uniform since it looks uniformly dark all across. Now taking the reading of resistance across the length The graph definitely doesn't seem to be linear. Let's take the help of maths to exactly figure out why this strange tapered graphite resistive element behaves this way and also know more about the curve. This type of tapered sheet can be visualized with the symmetry along the horizontal axis. We see that the width is linearly increasing. The equation for the increasing width is y equals to mx plus c where m is the slope and c is the y-intercept. We cannot directly use the formula r equals to rho l by a since the width is not uniform. So we try finding the resistance of small element whose length is dx units and width would be 2y units. Since the element is small enough, I can approximate its width to be constant. I also assume the vertical thickness to be uniform. Now on integrating it over its length, we see that the curve is natural log of the length. I have replaced the equation with the known values. Though there are still some constant that I need to figure out, for this I found one nice graphing calculator where I can play around with changing values and fit my curve to the best function. If you want to know on how I managed to get the approximate magnitude of thickness and resistivity, you can check my previous video. On playing around with the values for a while, this is the closest equation that I have arrived at. Though tapering the resistive element is an interesting way to create logarithmic pots, there is another easy and interesting way that we can create log pots, that is using linear pots. 
Here is a variable port and now on connecting the fixed resistor parallel to the variable output, the equivalent resistance would be Rx by R plus X. And now observing the graph of Rx by R plus X, we see that on choosing the right resistor R, we can approximate the graph to be logarithmic. So in the tapered resistor, as the resistance per unit length varies along the resistor, there is an interesting temperature profile that is generated, which has a fascinating application. Let's leave that for another video. See you all in my next video. Thank you.